Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to episode number four in the Aqeedah series Islamic Beliefs and Faith. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Wa salatu wa salamu ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'een. Amma ba'd. Allahumma ftah alayna bi ma'rifat al ilm. Allah inspire us with knowledge. Ameen. So we continue with Shaykh Ahmad al Marzuqi, his poem on Aqeedah al Awam, the Masses Creed, the, the belief of the common folk. What it should be so we go on to the next same line that we started looking at in the beginning the first portion of it for Allah Mawjood so this is the character the, this is the, the attribute of uh, Allah SWT, his um, his attribute of uh, of existence Allah is Mawjood Allah is uh, Wujud so Allah has to have a Wujud he has to have an existence no, the other 19 Attributes, there's no point in even delving into it if you do not agree on the first one, if you do not prove the first one, if you do not determine the first one, and that is Allah exists and God must exist. So, Fallahu Mawjood, Fallahu Mawjood, Qadimun Baqi, Mukhalifun Lil Khalqi, Bil Itlaqi. So, Allah exists. We saw that in the previous episode. We move on to the next attribute, and now we're going on to the attributes, the negating attributes. So this is Sifat as salbiya and Allah is uh, without a beginning. Allah is Qadim, so He is, has this ancientness. Uh, he is this who has, who is always there. Who al awalu, wal akhiru, wal dahiru, wal batinu. He is the first and the last, the manifest and the hidden. So Allah Subhanahu wa Taala was the first. He was always there. So what we saying with the Sifat salbiya, the negating attributes, we're negating that He. Uh, was originated so he actually came into being no we're saying that Allah is the first he was always there and as you go to the next one he will always be there so he was there he's he's here he's always will be there so Allah is someone that was always exists he we're negating that he has a beginning we have a beginning we are creation we are the created ones Allah SWT has created us we were nothing and then Allah SWT created us yes um, Allah SWT, He is not similar to that. Allah SWT is the source of everything, the source of creation. Everything that Allah SWT has created all came from Him. No, nobody else, nobody shared His power. It was just Him, Allah SWT. So Allah SWT has always been there and there was nothing else with Him. So there's nothing before Him. He is the first. The first, first, first is Allah. There's nothing else. So that is what we're trying to say with Qadim. We move on to Baqi. Uh, when we say Baqi, he is the everlasting. He is always, he will always be there. Uh, it's not like he uh, exists and he was the first, and then suddenly he's gonna just go off. Like, like Isa al Islam, they say they claim he is a god. If he's the son of God, then um, how come he died? How can a god die? So we're trying to tr talk about God, the attributes of God. Where a god cannot die. A god cannot be uh, have a beginning. He has to have been there. If he became into a beginning, that means he must have been created, created by who? Another God. So then you kind of create a chain, uh, and you, you saying God A created God B, and then oh God B to have existed, oh it was God C. So if you kind of do that, you get into like a chain of um, chain of gods, uh, and that is. Not, and so if you, if you kind of go through that, if what we'll say is, okay, so where this chain goes through the first one that there is no one before it, nothing before it. That's Allah. That, that is Allah and there's nothing else after it. There's no other gods. That the first one is Allah. So if you want to get to some kind of chain, that is a forever kind of chain. And um, the first one is Allah. So Allah SWT is the first and there's nothing else. There's no other gods, nothing. He's not created anything else to have given power to them. He's not created Isa and Islam to give power to him. No. So Allah is Qadim and that was kind of more from the intellect kind of kind of uh, evidences rather than showing Quranic evidence which which I mentioned because the non-Muslims will not accept that the philosophers they do not accept the Quran they'll say okay so what is the can you prove it through intellect Baqi yeah so the ending Allah SWT there is Allah SWT does not have end he does not perish we will perish yes our bodies this temporary vessels that we are in they're going to be left behind so Allah SWT he's we weren't so we don't share that attribute of Qadim that is only for Allah SWT we weren't but we will share for Baqi, not in this body form, but in our ruh form, in our spirit form. Because once Allah has created our ruh, 
once it's created it, then it will be eternal, it will be forever. And it will be eternal where in either another thing is created, either in Jahannam or either in Jannah, in the paradise or in the hellfire. So we ask Allah for Jannah to be eternally in there. And those two places are now going to share that attribute of Baqi. They'll also be now everlasting. But they weren't uh, Qadim, they weren't the first ever. It wasn't like that was the first thing. No, only Allah shares uh, has Qadim. But Baqi, we can all we all kind of share that in a sense that once he's created uh, the Ruh, he's created Jannah, Jahannam, he's created uh, the Arsh, his throne, the Qursi, the Qalam, the pen, all these things, these other things that he's created, they last forever. Uh, the law, law al mahfuz he's created that, it'll last forever. Um, so it was just, uh, so in Baqi we kind of share that attribute in that sense, that uh, we will live forever, so we make the, we should make the most of our time here. And it comes in the ayah in the Quran, وَمَا عِنَّكُمْ يَنْفَضْ Whatever is with you is going to perish. وَمَا عِنْدَ اللَّهِ بَاقِي What is with Allah is everlasting. So whatever is with Allah, is uh, relaxing the the akhirah. So let's 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 prepare for the akhirah and not dwell and fight and argue and uh, waste our time in the dunya and being enticed by the dunya. The dunya pulls us and if, and kind of makes us uh, lost in places and just trying to amass things. Uh, so let's try and uh, remain regain our focus in this time period we are with COVID nineteen and everything. You know we're all in our homes. Let's just try and uh, reconnect to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala and His Messenger and. Uh, yeah, we are connecting with aqidah and beliefs. So, Baqi, um, and then the another verse in the Quran, Kullu man alayha fan wa yabqa wajhu rabbika dhul jalali wal ikram. So, everything uh, on, the, on it, everything on the earth will, and everything in creation basically is going to perish and only Allah's face will abide. It will be the only thing that will be there remaining. Allah SWT is always going to be remaining. So, it's just in, in reference to Allah SWT is going to remain. If His face remains, that means he, Allah SWT is going to remain. The possessor of majesty and generosity. So that's Allah the Jalali wal Ikram. We move on to the last attribute for today. Mukhalifun lil khalqi bil itlaqi. So he is dissimilar to creation. Yeah. So he, Allah Subhanahu is dissimilar to us. Laysa kamithli he shay wa huwa sami al basir. There's none. There's nothing similar like. There's nothing like him. Uh, there's nothing like him in likeness. There's nothing similar to him. Allah SWT is dissimilar to us as originated beings that came into existence. Um, Allah SWT, He is different. So we cannot have a tasawwur with Allah SWT. We cannot start forming a picture of God. Uh, like I said, we in tasawwur and tasdeeq, we have full faith in Allah and that's it. We just have that belief in Allah and we just we just entrust all the matters and affairs and everything to Allah SWT about how He is, what He looks like, what He has different to us similar uh, you know we say wa well, samil basir in the same ayah he is all hearing all seeing how does he hear how does he see we cannot imagine we cannot uh, kind of comprehend uh, intellectually we do not have the capacity that god has an ear or god has a you know whatever it is any kind of thing that's similar to us we cannot uh, attribute that to god so the main thing is we're attributing to god that he is dissimilar to uh, different from creation absolutely bil it laqi absolutely he is different to us like i said you're trying to think about god you're trying to reverse and reverse you see reverse psychology and think differently to god and you think it's like you will never hit the mark you will never uh get to what allah SWT is like and that is only the allah SWT. he has told us things from his asma his names and his sifat his attributes and we can uh, uh, we can picture not picture allah SWT. we can we can uh, know about god we can feel about god that he is um, he's all hearing all seeing so we feel that oh yes we are being watched uh, we could, you know he has record has things that record us um, the angels he has at our sides so Allah SWT is not like anybody anything else Allah SWT is different to all of us and in the Quranic ayah that I just said Laysa Kamithli Shay there's another one Walam Yakul Lahu Kufu Wan Ahad in Surah Al Ikhlas and there's nothing similar to him there's nothing like him there's nothing similar to he so that's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and this is the attributes we're saying about God so we've soon seen three now, four now Mawjud, he has wujud, he exists, he is without a beginning, he is everlasting and he's dissimilar or different to uh, from creation absolutely 
وصلى الله سيدنا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وبارك وسلم